Toy Spot, we're going to be having a look at Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. This comes to us from McFarlane, Movie Maniac Series 7 line. Um, before we actually have a look at the figure, let's have a quick look at the packaging. Really, really nice packaging. As you can see, it's a lot larger than most Movie Maniac figure package packages. And it's only because of all, this, all the accessories that this figure comes with. Um, we'll get into that more as we open the figure up. Now, on the back of the packaging, it says that, I mean, I, I won't read the read up. It basically just talk, talks about all the figures in this wave. Um, the, the downside, I'll, although, to this set is aside from Colonel Hicks and Robocop, um, or Corporal Hicks from the Colonel, uh, Colonial Marines and Robocop, um, a lot of the figures from this wave are from the Chainsaw Massacre remake movie. And I would say, um, yeah, if you're not a Chainsaw Massacre fan and you don't like Leatherface and you didn't like the remake, uh, unfortunately, most of these figures in this set are a bit of a wash. And uh, you know, now I, I didn't pick up I didn't pick up these other three figures. I didn't pick up I mean, Sheriff Hoyt, Old Monty, or Aaron. Um, the only one I really wanted to get was the the Leatherface. Uh, I did like the movie. I liked the remake. And, uh, but for some reason, I just never got around to picking them up. I did get the Robocop, though, as I've already done a review of. Still love that figure. And it's a shame that they never did a, a blue wash repaint for the Robocop 2 figure. I mean, it made sense. They could have just used the exact same mold. But, uh, that's packaging on Leatherface. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get this guy opened up. Whoops. We'll get this guy opened up. And we will get a closer look at Leatherface. And uh, it's, it includes quite a diorama too, so uh, stay tuned guys, don't go anywhere. And here we have Leatherface out of his package. Uh, this probably was one of the most requested figures uh, I, I was asked about. Um, people, I know a couple people kept saying, you know, when, when can I do the remake Leatherface from Movie Maniacs. So uh, hopefully this doesn't disappoint. Um, Speaking of disappointing, I mean, if you, I've already done a Mezco Cinema Fear Leatherface, which, if you've watched my video, oh, I might link it here. If not, I would say go check out the video. Um, the one problem I had with the figure, as much as I like the body on the other figure, I think a little bit more, the one problem I had with the Mezco Cinema Fear figure was I didn't like the face. The, the mask I thought was a little disappointing on the other figure. Um, I think this leather face, although it's not as detailed, I think I prefer this a little bit more. I know, granted, it's not as detailed as the Mezco one, but I found the Mezco leather face was a little cartoony, whereas at least this one's a little more realistic in the face. Um, uh, speaking of detail, though, he's, he's got the same apron as, as the Mezco had on their figure. Um, like rubbery, kind of plastic. A nice dingy brown. Ooh, I hope that wasn't white at one point. Um, nice dirty striped shirt, as you can see. A nice detailing in the mask. And, and the hair coming out of the back of the mask here. Uh, one thing I... And I, it's such a, it's a, such a small thing. But one thing I really like about the remake mask is this, is this uh, part right here in the mask. Instead of having a full head of hair, you can see like where it's not a full mask kind of thing. It's kind of uh, separated. I, I know I like that. I like that little uh, separation in the hair. It's just it's just a small detail, but it's some, it's just it's nice. It, it's nice. Um, as you can see, he's got like the the dirtied boots, with the blood all over the boots. Almost looks like there's like brains and like organs and stuff on it too. And he's wearing steel-toed shoes, so you can see like he's got a bit of steel toe showing through. And nice detailing on the uh, chainsaw too. I mean, it's a really neat looking chainsaw. I'll uh, take the chainsaw off, which I'm probably going to regret later. But then I'll put other face there for a second. Really, really nice detailing on the chainsaw. You can see like it's it, it's rusted, and then the blood and the everything else on it, the gears. Really, really nice. I mean, it's not as long. I think the Mezco one is a little bit longer, but uh, I think this one 
This one's still pretty detailed though. Um, I'll put the chainsaw down for a second and we'll have a look at Leatherface. Now his articulation is a bit disappointing. I mean it's, it's movie maniac so you're not going to get a lot of articulation. But he has swivel in his head. But as you can see it doesn't... That's basically all it does is left and right. Um, he has... Oh, it's a bit stiff on this figure. Um, he has swivel in his in his elbow. Now he should have swivel in his shoulder too. I mean, as you can see, it's seamed where it should be uh, swiveled. And uh, this figure, this figure is really stiff. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to move those arms. Not unless they are molded. But it almost it does look as though it's seamed, right? It's seamed all the way across. But you know what? I'm going to leave it because knowing my luck, if I force it, you're going to have a broken arm right on camera here. Um, he also has no uh, other articulation. There's no articulation in the boot or in the waist or anything. So pretty much head and elbow area seems to be the only articulation in this figure. Um, I'll put the chainsaw back in his hand. Now the problem I had with the chainsaw was it... it uh, it gave me some problems when I had it when I was trying to put it back in his hand the first time. The only reason why is if you can see here, the fingers are curled in such a way, especially with the thumb, that you kind of have to, kind of have to slide, kind of slide, kind of squeeze in the chainsaw. Maybe I won't have as much problem this time. And we'll just put it in the. Oops. We'll just put it in the uh, the hand here. Okay. So it, a little easier than what. A little easier than what I was playing with it earlier, um, but nice looking Leatherface. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice looking figure. You'll probably notice all this time while I've been doing the figure review that there's this really imposing display at the back here. Um, there's some assembly required, but uh, as you can see, you've got a nice doorway entrance here, and you can take the Leatherface figure here. Just get the chainsaw through there. And you can actually uh, put Leatherface in the room here. Now there's pegs in the foot as well, which I probably won't be able to get in. Let's see if I can get one of them in at least. Let's see here. Let's get this foot pegged in. It kind of looks like you have to get it pegged in just because the f he wants to seem to topple over a bit here. Well, I didn't get it in all the way, but essentially that you can pose Leatherface inside the uh, the door opening here. Um, lots of detailing too on the door. You can see where the paint and everything else is worn on the doorway. There's nice uh, paint application on the on the flooring. You get the nice look of uh, the floor boarding. Um, Really nice detail. I mean, they, they put a lot of effort into it. Uh, where the downside to this, the bit backdrop is, and I'll take Leatherface back out here. Just put him there for a second. The uh, downside to the backdrop, though, is as you can see, for one thing, it's oops. For one thing, it's open on the one side. So I mean, really, it's only intended to be looked at that way. I mean, to look at it any other way, you can see that there's just cardboard and stuff like that. Um, that's that's another problem I have with this set, and that's the fact that this back panel and this side panel are just cardboard. I guess you really don't need it and to be any sturdier than cardboard. The only downside, though, to it is there's only one. You can both see it right here. There is only one plastic pole or, or board here where both of these cardboard pieces slide in. And I'm thinking with time, thinking with time, these are basically going to separate out and you're not going to be able to sandwich it in. I think probably when I put this on display, I might actually just put a little bit of bl a glue just on the little inside ledge here so that when I slide the cardboard in, it's, it's fixed and it's not going to separate out. And some people would say, well, why, why are you going to, why are you going to ruin your display? Well, I mean, realistically, I'm not going to, I'm not going to open up. I'm not going to take this display apart again. So I mean, there's really no reason why I I have to uh, I have to keep these as separate pieces. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm just going to glue those together. But uh, overall, though, I mean, it, the fact that he comes with a uh, 
a room or an opening diorama I think is awesome I think that's great I mean that's 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 taking a, a figure that maybe on its own might not have done or might not have looked very good but giving this extra little piece to it definitely thumbs up for me I mean it's uh, kinda wish they had done that with some Jason Voorhees figures maybe a busted door kind of thing but uh, I really like this figure I'm really glad I picked it up and I'm glad I actually uh, opened him up now and, and did a review of him because I can kind of appreciate the figure a little bit more now. But there you have a toy spot on Movie Maniacs Series 7, Leatherface. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.